So this week, the Brugaders took a trip to Capital Sci-Fi Con Dunfermline Invasion, followed by the Charity Beer Festival in Dunfermline, and then in Glasgow, we went to the MCM Scotland Comic Con. At Dunfermline, Colin was selling his comics at his stall, while Jeff had a chance to check out the attractions. We even managed to take along one of our favourite beers. That night we went to the Dunfermline Charity Beer Festival, where unfortunately a lot of the beers we wanted to try had been sold out. However, we enjoyed the dancing and music, and then we retired to the Druthy Fox to chat about the beers. Hi, how are you doing? Hello. Um, we're sitting currently in the uh, Druthy Fox, Dunfermline's beer garden, um, having been directed here by the barman who understands that we're doing a podcast. Um, we have been at the capital. Uh, you have to watch the it capital sci fi con Dunfermline Invasion. Is the event. So it's a kind of comics related event this weekend. It was really good. And as a as a as a customer rather than somebody selling stuff, I took my children there, and we had a really lovely evening. There was um they did um, afternoon slash day, not evening. But we'd, we'll get to the point where we're like tripping over our words and shit <laughs> in about two minutes. But we, um, I, I spent a really lovely afternoon with my children photographing ourselves next to the gremlins and that really e. cool... E.T. E.T. Yeah. My favourite bit was that really cool bit in um, yeah. uh, Breers the Lost Ark when you had to oh, swap yeah, the... Oh cool. yeah, yeah, that, that was my favourite bit. Um, my children really liked the... Uh, uh, my um my four year old who hasn't seen any really scary yeah. ha- horror films left in the face hugger because he heard me and my my twelve year old talk about what yeah. it was yeah. and explained to my pal Daniel this is a this is a this is a an alien that will grab your face and put an alien in your tummy I was like yeah that actually was, that was a thing to do that was a pretty cool warning yeah. so um if these guys um, the capital sci fi con guys are doing stuff in your local area you should totally check it out yeah. The, the, they do stuff in Falkirk. They do stuff in the Falkirk area. But that ability to interact with, yeah. with, with, there was like Ghostbusters stuff there and Arkham Horror. Jimmy Ar- V. Jimmy V was there. Yeah. And he's the guy who plays R two D two, in Star Wars. Yeah. The current guy who does that. Jimmy V was there. So he was doing um. And so he, was. Is he Force Awakens? Is he? Uh, the, the latest Star Wars uh, yeah. trilogy. Yeah. He's R two D two. It was, and, it, it was um, surely nice. It was it was a nice atmosphere, and I said to Colin earlier, there was a there was a random lo- event happening in my in our local library as well. Which and as a result, I was quite proud to come from the Fermline this weekend. It was pretty smart. Yeah. Um, and this evening, we me and Colin had bought tickets to see um, the the Fermline Charity Comic. No, no, beer, no festival. beer festival. Beer festival. We're, we're returning from that right now, which is why we're probably sounding like two drunken arseholes. Yes, um, indeed. Yeah. So we had a few beers from quite a number of breweries, some of which we liked, some of which we're not sure, so sure about. Our, lo- our, uh, this is my, my, uh, our local barman can sit with me. Hi guys, how are Hello. you? Hello there, are you well? So we're in the Druthy Fox in Dunfermline. So, yeah, this is our barman tonight. Hi, I'm Douglas from Duty Pops. How are we there, folks? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. Oh, well, cool. I've always it's wanted it's to be on a podcast, actually. It's always nice to have sit in. interlopers in the podcast. <laughs> We've been to the um, Capital Sci-Fi Con stuff that was going on the Kingsgate earlier. Oh, cool, cool. What was that? What's that about? There was just loads of, like, bits of films and stuff. Oh, really? Said. Wow. So, like... My wee guy Sonny, who's always smooth. Yeah, right. <laughs> he was sitting with the gremlins and probably chilling out. Yeah, wow, that must be good. So that's where you were today. Were you, were you guys down um, at the beer festival? So yeah, of course. Which is what we're going to talk about now. Ah, excellent. So, yeah, that's what we're going Excellent. Have you been there? Uh, the last time I went was like 2013, and since then I've been working in bars on the street. So on a Saturday night during October, I'm always that's here. So yeah. I usually just speak to people after they come out of the beer festival. Like no, this. it was good. <laughs> it was good. Well, good is good. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. It was okay. Right, guys, I'll let you bash on with the podcast. Thanks, guys. Take care. <laughs> Back to work. Back to work. I'm going to say that, um, what are we drinking just now? Will we? Um, yeah, I've got breakfast toast from 71 Brewing. I've got Pump Up the Jam, which we reviewed. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> jam donuts. Yeah, a wee bit left there. For yeah, you. we like that. 
And you, you quite like That's my favourite. I love this that. toast. It's really lovely. Really is. We need to go to 71 Brewing. In Dundee. We need a visit to 71 Brewing. For sure. We'll be there soon. Guys, so, give us an invite. What's um? What was your view on the um, beer festival then? It was a little unfortunate that all the local beers run out on Friday night. Yeah, I've got a, my so, um, my neighbour who we've talked about in previous podcasts because he made a little bit of noise when we were trying to record. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've got a new neighbour and he is part of Dunfermline's Rotary Club, and he was. He was saying that we should go to either a Friday or a Saturday day, yeah, yeah. because by the Saturday night, a lot of the, oh, particularly yeah. the niche kind of the small niche brewers, kind of run out. Yeah, and we we For discovered sure. that quite brutally tonight, I think. Yeah, I know. So there was Harveston, there was Belhaven Brewery, and it was all okay. Yeah, which are quite big breweries. I think I know what you we know, wrote. Yeah. Fine, that's okay. I but, think um, I think at one point I, I was trying to I kind of gave uh, Colin a route. But I was actually trying to like kid myself a wee bit, <laughs> but um, I think um, a lot of these breweries are big now because back in the day they had they were small and they were having yeah, to develop yeah, and yeah for sure and I had to remind myself of that that were like you're enjoying something that was niche maybe a, a wee while ago yeah a few years ago and yeah. I took a wee a couple of notes um, I remember uh, the one note there was a, there was a horrible moment at the beer festival where. They have the list on the wall of all the stuff that's sold out. Yeah, we'll show you that. Yeah, no, it's, all, it's on our Instagram deal. and yeah. Facebook and You'll Twitter. See that. But it was literally a list of beers that we would have chosen to drink. Yeah. And so the stuff that was sold out. So yeah. there was this wee moment where me and Colin were sitting there with our beer tokens because when you go to beer festival, they give you you pay for your t- tickets, and so you, you hand a, t- a ticket over for a half pint. Which is great, and in the past it's been brilliant, and we've had some really good experiences of that. Yeah. But we were literally sitting there with, was it 15 beer tokens or whatever? We it had was? A, a lot of beer tokens, and let's face it, some my pal gave us some extra ones. That's totally, so. it was awesome. But yeah. we were sitting there with beer tokens for a lot of beers we didn't want to drink. Um, and I wrote a note when I was drinking, I took a wee note on my phone, and I, I was saying it's the beer equivalent of. If we were drinking kind of premium shit, it was equivalent to having only been allowed to dig into like sort of school meals. But I don't know. I just wrote that in here. Yeah. I, I was sure yeah, like yeah, yeah. so it beer's a bit like fine dining. We're used to the fine dining, the the, the tiny brewing, the, the the opening a bottle and sharing a bottle of um, Enerbay. Yeah. And being left with only like. I pay for yeah. three hundred. You know, yeah. it was, yeah. it, was and it, it, it was quite tricky. We did drink a few good things that were like, like even I don't know. And anybody that's part of being at a beer festival, will hopefully, experience this with us. There was a, there was a wee bit of drinking stuff and being like, I would love to drink this in a bottle, cold rather than just the way that this has been served. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because it was the usual, usual thing of some. Uh, they had some barrels there with a wet towel over the top. Yeah. Just doing really cool. Let's face it. That's that's a we lot of pitch. To, who was it? Um, Stephen. Stephen. Um, yeah, Stephen. Um, down at Lime Kiln. Yeah, yeah. Kiln. Yeah. So we were, when we had our brew talk, uh, brew talk, brew shed episode. Brew shed, yeah. brew shed episode. It's episode ten, I think. It's on our YouTube. Yeah. Check out. But um, yeah, that was something that was kind of chat about him. Um, Steve doesn't do beer festivals anymore because he's sick to death yeah, of yeah. showing up and of seeing warm his beers. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Chill your beers. Chill your beers, folk. Was there anything? No, that? today it was like a wet towel over the top was the the, yeah. the, the refrigeration. Yeah, that was really busy though. It was busy. It was, it was a good band, I have to say. Dirty Martinez. Was I took a note of who the band were called because they played basically everything. Um, a bit um, of a covers band, but they were great. I have to say, they did Killers, what else? Um, Mufford and Son. Yeah. I took a note of everyone there, they did Bastille, because it was basically everything that I enjoyed in the mid 2010s. Yeah, totally. David Bowie was yeah, in there oh, as yeah, well. They played a bit of Dave Some really cool stuff. They played a Cure and, um, cover. They played um, The oh, Forest. Yeah, they did The Forest by The Cure, yeah, that was awesome. Um, in between, they just put on, you know, kind of random sort of 80s stuff. They were good. So yeah, good beer festival. We enjoyed it. Yes, no. 
unfortunate that there wasn't so many kind of local beers that run out. I think it's got to be said though, it was absolutely bouncing. When oh we were god, left. yeah. Like it was heaving. There was, boy, there, was oh, like, there was a good five, yeah, six hundred cool folk there. Yeah. And actually, it, be, it had me thinking at our seat. I was like, actually, we as um as a beer podcast, we we we've attended the wrong even part of part of the the weekend. Um, I felt this a lot of the time when we, when I've, I've attended music festivals in the past. Yeah, there does seem to be like a a vibe to everything. And certainly, if you are like me, Colin, like beer aficionados who enjoy buying beer and like drinking wee bits of beer and talking about the the hops and the and the hints of fucking grapefruit, then actually. <laughs> A Saturday night at a beer festival over the whole weekend's not the right time for you to go. Probably not. Yeah, I think but maybe a Friday or a Saturday it's, day. It's, it's not going to stop me going. But, yeah, no, it has, but it I would like to go at the start. Yeah. Rather than the end. But certainly, if you're, yeah. you're going to go at the start, you're going to get a taste of yeah. the stuff that we didn't manage yeah, to taste. Yeah, the interesting stuff. Yeah. That everybody is drunk already. Yeah. They've got to be enjoyed that stuff and left everything else. Yeah, so the, the, the big brewers with the with the, the larger keg loads that yeah. are able to bring out more beer. Yeah, for sure. But it was alright, um, there was a beer that everything was, we'll make a wee list on our Facebook of all the stuff that was kind of alright. Yeah. But, um, because it was all kind of like, oh, that's okay, I would like that to be cold. Oh, this is okay, I would like this to be fizzier. Yeah, for there sure. There was a lot yeah. of that, but there was, um, I'll, I'll take, I'll look at my notes again. There was a really, I can't remember who did it. But there was a there was a nine percent beer that we both we had two goes of because it was okay. Oh yeah, yeah. What was the um? The, was it like old oily, engine oil? Oil, yeah, old engine oil. Old that's engine. It. That's it for sure. It was old engine oil from old engine oil by Harvest. Harvest, yeah, yeah. Which is an Alba. Which and is that called. that was probably our best favorite beer. I would say over the right, weekend. Yeah. We, 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 yeah, I had that was my yeah, first beer when I went in, and everything like I compared it to. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've got to say my my favourite beer of the evening. Uh, we went to um before we before we went to the the Comic Con, yeah. Comic Con, the beer con. This is hard when you do loads of shit and then you drink. Yeah. <laughs> um, we went to the um before we went to the the Vermont Charity Beer Festival. We went to. The Caledonian Craft Beer Merchant because they've got a they've got a, an area we can sit and drink. Yeah, it was like a really nice beer by. Um, who was that by? I have no idea. Yeah, like why I why why, why would this really? Uh, cloud water. Cloud water. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the photo of it. The I, I, I had a overtone. And you had a really beautiful beer, overtone. Which is lovely. I have to say, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Trying to do this at ten o'clock at night when we're both rather drunk is is not the best idea. Yep, perhaps. Colin's, but, Colin's got shit loads of editing. But we're doing it. No, no editing. It's <laughs> you put this up as it's is. Everything. Yeah, it's blood and guts. Oh. <laughs> well, and to give Colin his due, he hasn't put the link to the beer that we've drunk. I, I drank a really nice tangerine. I'll, I'll check it out. It's I'll put it up. Water. I'll yeah. put it up. Water did a really beautiful yeah. tangerine. It was basically all the citrus fruits that are on the bitter side. So there was yeah, a red grapefruit nice. in there. Really nice. Yeah. So like, you had a really beautiful overtone. Oh, the overtone one that I had, whose name I forget, but I'll post it later. Was I'd, superb. It looks like kind of there's a lot of oats in yeah, there. Yeah, um, definitely. It was a bit of a big secret. Yeah. And you know that's a big beer that everybody loves, but it's, 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 it's there, ending. It's ending, they're not do, doing it anymore. But this this new one, whoa, really I good. Was, um, there was I, I had a wee sip of yours because I was it was your beer, but I was I was like, oh my goodness, there's a there's a lovely there's like an oatiness to it. Yeah. And then when you looked at the can, I think they're putting a lot of like particularly in the blending and the and the making of the beer, yeah. they're, they're firing in a lot of like porridge and yeah, just oats. Kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It was and it was really really, really different, good. yeah. And right now we're drinking two beers that we've. I don't know if we've reviewed this one before. No, you've had it. I don't I, know I, you, this is one of my favourite beers. Right, probably, probably. Um, if, I, if I sat in a pub and I knew this was behind the bar, this would be my chosen yeah. drink. 
So 71 We need a light yeah. 71 brains uh, breakfast door so from the D It's still going to happen And they need a, beer, they they a beautiful stout kind of porter called breakfast toast And I've talked about it a lot on really the really nice, yeah uh, It's a breakfast stout Quite enjoying it Yeah, yeah. And I'm drinking um, Tiny Brewing who I'm loving the fact, and I've talked about this a wee lot. Um, We've reviewed this before. Yeah, we have. Pop up the jam. The Druthy Fox, where it's become kind of almost like I've got a couple of pubs that I would choose yeah. to drink in in Dunfermline. But the Druthy Fox has become one of my favourite haunts in Dunfermline because they, they deliberately pick cans of quite random beer. Yeah, I, I've not worked out what the rhythm is yet. Yeah, yeah, but, but um, I went, we, good we, stuff. Exactly. Every time, every time, it's good stuff. So we walked. Yeah. I walked in with Colin, expecting to get a can of breakfast toast, and I found the pump of the jam, which I think we've we have reviewed. Yeah. I don't know if it was our favourite beer that week, but it's definitely a personal favourite of mine. And to oh, be able to walk yeah. into a bar and be like, oh my goodness, like, aye, that please is incredible. For sure. Yeah. So anyway. That's a roundup of uh, Beers Dunn Feldman's Beer Weekend. Yeah. Tomorrow we're driving out to Glasgow to be part in an MCM's oh, yeah. Comic Con. That's right. Yeah. So we'll in interview some comic artists, writers. We're hoping to get Neil Lawrence, who is like, you know, the doyen of Scottish comics. Dungeon Fun. Dungeon Fun. It's the coolest comic fun. ever. And Check out Dungeon Fun if yeah, you've not read it. All yet. the cool stuff he does. I'm and who else have we got? Oh, we're gonna, I'm going to talk to John Wagner. John Wagner. John Wagner, who is the, the creator, one of the co-creators of Judge Dredd. Yeah. Um, John is just such a cool guy. He's got a new comic called Book of the Reds. I'm really hoping, we talked about this before, before. Yeah. I, I'm hoping to get a copy of the... Uh, the new one. Rock of the Reds. No, I'm hoping, I want to get the Rock oh, of the Reds. Oh, you want to get the, the trade paper The trade paper yeah. Rock of the Reds. So he's also, got a se sequel coming out called Rock, Rock the God. Yeah. yeah, which we're hopefully getting the preview, Get the of, preview tomorrow. of that tomorrow. Yeah. And then we've also got um, David Light, who was the artist on. Well, v, v for Vendetta. Yeah, yeah, of course. And multitude of other comics, but V for Vendetta, you know, it's probably his. It's the most iconic. Magnus, one of the most iconic Magnus comics Opus. ever written. Yeah, totally. I'm hoping to grab him that. and just, even though I just go, hi, you, you wrote V for Vendetta, what do you drink? Yeah. <laughs> So Jeff is going to be a fanboy, a and it's going to be a totally fanboy over David Lloyd tomorrow. But that's totally cool, and I'll probably be the same. Yeah. It's been a good, it's been a good weekend to be a beer and comic lover in the Dunfermline. Yeah, for sure. And well, that's pretty much it from the beer side. Tomorrow is the comic. See the comic side. See you then. So at MCM Scotland, we managed to meet up with Charles Martinet, who is famous for being the voice of Mario and Luigi in the video games and cartoons. We also met um, artist David Lloyd, who's well known for the V for Vendetta book written by Alan Moore. And we also caught up with Judge Dredd creator John Wagner. We went on to meet up with Gosh Wow Comics and Neil Lawrence and had a bit of a chat about beers. Right, so we're here at MCM Glasgow, and this is artists and football. You could say fantastic artist, Neil Florence, <laughs> known for this book here, which he's going to tell you a bit about, but also for his cartoons in the National Newspaper. Yeah, that's right. So I'm Neil Florence. Uh, this is one of my main books. This is Dungeon Fun, and it's like a all ages kind of fantasy adventure. But as Colin was saying, I do a lot of other stuff. I do like political cartoons. I do some like all biographical comics and then illustration as well as that. So you recently did a, a newer Willy as well. You painted a. I did. Yeah, I did one of the um, the big newer Willies that were all around the country. So mine was a Willy, and it was painted with all these little faces that I'd taken in the children's hospital and covered it with portraits of all those kids and then it went on display in Silverburn and it recently got auctioned off for about four grand or so which went back to the hospital which was really cool. Fantastic, yeah. That was a good thing. Superb. Okay, um, so we also want to talk about beer a little bit. Yeah. Um, so what's your go-to beer? Go okay. out on the night. My go-to ones? Um, there's so many good Scottish breweries and there's so many like nice craft beers that are like 
readily available in pubs and stuff. So what I do really like is I tend to like a lot of the Williams Brothers mm. stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I really like, is it Seven Giraffes? Oh yeah. And then there's Good Times and stuff. I really like yeah, those It's easy to get in supermarkets. Yeah, and, and well. one, they have one called Birds and Bees, I think. Oh yeah. yeah which is like a, yeah. I think it's a summer ale. And I really like that one. Uh, I quite like a summer ale as well. Yes. It makes you know, sweet flavours. Yeah. 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 But, um, That's really good. Not all beers are good. <laughs> so no, no. Beer, we, a bit I, of an experience, we've had some experiences. Like I think I was, we were in Dunfermline and I got a pint of Innocent Gun, I think it was. I don't know if it was the taps or the internal taps, but it smelled of farts. It was like very, very it salty. Did. And it took totally it back to the bar farts, and I was like, I get something out, and they didn't believe me. And yeah. I was like, the guy, smell it. There were two like, guys at the bar. Oh. Weren't there? there was two guys at the bar, and they had to smell it as well. And they were like, "Oh my god, what's up?" Yeah, it's all so, here. Yeah, sometimes you do get a bad pipe, and you've got to send it back. But usually, they're they're understanding. <laughs> so I think maybe next time we're in Glasgow doing a, a podcast, we'll get you out to the pub one night yeah, and we can talk more about beer and, yeah. and, 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 uh, and drink some like, comics. I'm not an expert, I just I know what I like. I'm not like a connoisseur of like taste buds and notes and things yeah. like that, but well, I know what I like that kind of anything. Neither were we, and we just started off you know, getting podcasts because a beer shop had opened up next to a comic shop, you know, and then well, it's, it's been a journey, as, as uh, Jeff likes to say, my, my colleague on the podcast, we're on a beer journey and we're learning as well, and now that we're going into breweries and, and things and learning how it's made, we're, we're picking up lots of it's stuff. It's so like, it seems to be like maybe the past maybe five to ten years, like craft beer has just like exploded. Oh, it's like, huge, isn't it? I remember yeah. when I first started going to the pub, I was like 18, and you maybe had the choice of Two, three laggers and a, and a Guinness. 18. You left it that late. I mean, I did look quite old, so probably <laughs> like 16, 17. But yeah, you literally had the choice of like a couple of laggers and then like a like Guinness yeah. or like yeah. a, something yeah. heavier or like a better. But now you have so much stuff and so many Huge like choice, yeah. craft cans and bottles to choose from. It's amazing. You can always, usually go to a pub and always have something different. Yeah. And try something different, which is great. I think it's great for like, uh, it's great for the country as well. And there's so many nice wee places around Scotland, and not lots of lovely local breweries that pop up as well. It's, it's a great thing. Well, we'll get out to the pub soon. So thank yeah, you very much, Neil. Great. Thanks so much, Cheers. Colin. Take care. Uh, are you recording? I'm recording. Okay. Just say something. Just we, we're just, posing. I know. Yeah, I've got our own video. We're at a. Uh, uh, Glasgow MCM Scotland Comic Con. Is that with the whole official Comic Con? Comic Con. 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 <laughs> yeah, these are all from Bradfield Brewery in Sheffield. Really? It's not what I've heard of, so. Absolutely. Um, Just a whole six pack of different. Well, that was absolutely amazing that you, that you had this for us. <laughs> oh, we're not sure we're thinking of. Oh, and a beer mat too. Perfect. Oh, oh, fantastic. Well, this gets good. But no, thank you so much. Um, we brought you, I think, the, the venue. So when we uh, we reviewed you at like week one, mm -hmm. we, um, uh, this was beer of the week. So we, I got you a couple of inner bay topazes. Thank you very much. Um, very welcome. I am teetotal, but I'm sure oh, my kids will. Come <laughs> yeah. 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 yes, Dad. Yeah. But yeah, um, do you want to tell us? Drink it? irresponsible. Please always. <laughs> do you want to have a wee? Let's, let's have a look, a look around yeah. the comics. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. And we've reviewed a couple of these already, haven't we? So when's the next one out, Liam? I am 
working on it. I'm <laughs> piling stuff literally, up. Literally coming up with ideas while you're talking to us. Yeah, the next one is probably going to be about the Legion of Newt superheroes. Oh, who oh boy. Been, yeah, okay. Yeah, who have appeared in uh, a couple yeah, of we'll comics We've seen a bit of them already. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, I've cool. got pages and pages and pages. Almost. Right. Interesting drawing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look forward to seeing that. Thank you very much.